What's up YouTube? It's Mike here back with another video. We added some new fish to the 1500 gallon behind me. So I'm going to show the footage of moving those fish over in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video, the little addiction spoof video that I did. Uh, that was all just for fun. It was a joke. Go check out IFG's video that he did before that, that he, uh, he put me in and uh, you might understand it a little bit better if you didn't understand why I made that video. But yeah, it was just a joke. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you hated it, don't worry. I won't do uh, a lot of those or anything like that. Um, my content will stay the same. And if you haven't already, I ask you to please uh, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for notifications. And if you like this video, please like the video. So I know I haven't shown this tank in a while and I'm being kind of quiet because again I don't really uh, I don't really show this much I don't really talk around this tank all that often so um, here's Wasabi he's still uh, being himself he is active when the lights are off and he eats really well as you can see all of his clamshells over there um, but he's still a potato so uh, yeah I'm just bored by this tank so I don't really show it much so we are gonna move this guy who is getting cramped obviously he's always trying to hide he's got really big I um, showed some I'll show some pictures of him when we first got him he was only like maybe two three inches something like that he was really tiny little uh, rips our cat so he's getting really big and it's hard to feed him in here um, as you see here are my uh, black ears which I'm growing out which I'd like to move them downstairs too but um they're growing a little slower than i would like unfortunately i would say the biggest one is like four or five inches and you know i really want them to be like eight inches by now so slow growth on them and uh yeah so i'm just gonna keep them up here for now but yeah we're gonna move this guy down to the 1500 because he's big enough nothing could eat him and he can hold his own, and that'll be a good grow out for him. The 1500 should be actually more than a grow out, that should be his lifelong home. And while I'm at it, I uh, I have a, a hose in here, I'm just draining some water, I'm gonna do a small little water change while I'm at it, grabbing him out, so. I'm also gonna clean some of these sponges. So I just filled a bucket with some tank water, so I don't have to uh, carry him downstairs dry let's see if we can get him out of here the key is to not scare wasabi out of here dude wasabi freaks out sometimes and I really don't want to scare him so this is a 10 inch net and he's a little longer than that so he's close to a foot it's about 11 inches here. Not putting up any fight. That's good. All right, let's get him in here. He's a big boy. I don't want to get him stuck in the net here. All right, carry him down. So we're just gonna take off the part of the lids here. And the temp is actually a tiny, it's two degrees warmer in the 1500 than it is in that 125 up there. So I'm not too concerned about that. It's only a couple degrees and it's warmer, not colder. So generally you don't gotta worry about it too much. Here we go. Sorry, buddy. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't expect that. That was almost a nightmare. The gar was th thinking he was food at, sa at first. But he's in. And he's underneath stingrays right now. All right, he got out. I'll shut off the light for him. Everything's checking him out. goes. He's got lots of space. A little freaked out, but that's okay. He'll get used to it. He's going to look for a hiding spot, but he'll get used to not having one. 
Yeah, he's gonna go to his little corner there. That's okay with me. This guy, I drove to Cape Cod and got him from my uh, local fish store. So I'm ready to put this guy, this long nosed gar here. He's been doing awesome. I'm gonna add him to my gar community tank in the uh, 1500. This guy is also a long nose, he's just massive. So let's hope that someday this guy catches up to him. But for now, we're gonna add him to the 1500. And he's in, he looks good. Kept all his color. He's gonna come up and get air. Nope, maybe not. Not quite yet. Still exploring. Don't see the TIG too often. He's out and about. Looking good. A little fat, but looks good. I think the uh, the ripsaw booted the TIG out of the corner. Yeah, here's the ripsaw. But very active, moving around, so that's good. Yep, scared off the TIG. Okay. Give you an idea how big the tank is. Okay, so now that I moved the Niger out, I'm gonna move uh, these black ears and that one iridescent shark down to the 300. They've grown a little bit, not crazy amount, but they have grown. They're double the size of when I got them, but they're not growing as quick as I'd like them to. Uh, regardless, they're big enough to put in the 300 as long as nothing bothers them, and I don't think anything will. So I'm going to give it a shot and uh, catch them up and throw them in. Okay, I'm going to try to catch them. They're going to go crazy, so i got to be quiet while I do it, but... Okay, didn't go well. I got the little iridescent shark. Didn't go well. Try to get this other one. Oh, he's gonna run to the other side. Uh, go back. Okay. Oh, I'm worried about him hurting himself. Okay. One more, and we're going to try to not scare the Mabu when we do this. Don't want to freak him out. Okay, please don't go up. Okay.
pouch. Great success. So it's been a few weeks now and everything's doing great. This guy has already grown a little bit more, which is kind of cool. I've seen a uh, noticeable size difference out of him. He's eating a lot more in here, which probably helps. And uh, again, another uh, TIG sighting. So I figured I'd show that. I don't get to show him off much. So doing really well. These are the Florida Gars. They are fat and been doing great. And here is our uh, long nose, our newer addition our other newer addition and get a little uh, size comparison here from the big guy to the small one and I'm not sure what's nipping at this guy's fins or if he's just like spooking here and there I've seen him jump a couple times like almost breach the water so I don't know if something's scaring him or what but yeah, he's got a little bit of a fin nippage there um, but all the other guards are perfect and this little guy has been doing great. So uh, he eats like a boss. And uh, yeah, I love having all five of these guys together. I really wish I could add my platy. I just don't trust the platy. I don't trust alligator gars in general. So I think he's better off over there, but it would be sweet to have him in here. I've thought about doing it, but eh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother. So this tank, uh, on a whole, everything's going really, really well. And uh, I know a few people have noticed that this Castexi Stingray curls his disc a lot. And um, it, long story short, he's been doing that for a, almost a year now. And I think what it is is nerve damage to the disc. Uh, it's not disc curl like the death curl that uh, Rays are known for because, again, he's been doing this for a long time. He eats really good. He seems very healthy other than the curling. Um, but I believe what that is, is nerve damage. I've talked to a few people about it who have more experience with rays than I do. And it's likely nerve damage from the disc biting from being with that other male, which uh, kind of sucks, but I have been told that it might get better with time, so I'm hoping it does. Uh, also, forgive me, I gotta clean the glass here. As you see, there's a good biofilm going. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering about that Stingray, he's fine. He's been like that for a while, but he may have some nerve damage to the disc. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I'm hoping it gets better over time. And as for uh, the iridescent sharks and the black ear uh, sharks, they are doing great. They're over here. Um, they're swimming at the edge here nonstop. Um, no problems. I haven't seen anything bother them in here. This tank in general has been doing really good. Uh, the silver arowana that we added, I think I showed adding him uh, a couple weeks ago. He's been doing great. So um, in general, everything's been going pretty well with this tank. And while I'm at it, the new red tail giant Garami is already aggressive as Garamis are, but really this one just wants to eat. I'm hoping it's not really an aggressive uh, fish with other fish, time will tell, but uh, doing really well and also our little Pariba catfish is doing fantastic uh, put on a little bit of size the color is fantastic the cat won't leave me alone right now sorry I'm trying to be still but Pariba is doing great and another quick update oh platy sighting another quick update I'll be quiet over here because I don't like to scare the Dorado cat easily spooked but that Dorado's doing really good too I don't show him much um, little the little albino pearl female here she's doing great you see her she's chewing on that male right now uh, so she's a little boss too everything actually all these pups are doing really good uh, any a uh, couple of these I'm still willing to sell if anybody's interested uh, I got a couple females here 
And this male, I'm kind of uh, looking to sell them, kind of looking to sell them. I'm willing to for the right price. So if anyone's interested, uh, let me know. But um, I just wanted to show that she's been doing great with the other pups since I added her. So that is it for this video, guys. I thank you guys as always for watching. As you please follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics. I post a little bit more regularly on there, some updates of fish and whatnot. Um, so follow me on Instagram. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in that next video. Thanks.